Good morning, good morning. Mm, that is so hot. Good morning and welcome to Thursday, the 10th of October. It's 8.30 in the morning here. 7.30 if you're in Brisbane. Oh my God, I don't know about you guys, but daylight savings has been really hard to adjust to. Um, lately, I've been <clears throat> eating later, weirdly getting up. I don't know. Anyway, daylight savings time. And as speaking of time, we have a Capricorn moon right now. And the moon is square the nodes right now. Good morning. Hey, let me just click this because... Okay. All right. So yeah, we have a square to the nodes this morning. Now, after 4 p.m., we have a sextile with uh, Saturn, which is ruling the moon. So the morning may feel like um, you're... Okay, so you have a desire to go do something. However, the those square to the nodes is like you might be fighting against, in the words, I'll read that in a second, you might be fighting against expectation and desire. All right, so you have a job that you want to do, but you're like, oh, but previously I would have done this, but this is what I actually want to do. So it's a little bit of a weird one. I feel like something's going weird. Um, okay. I don't know what's happening. All right. Anyway, I'll keep going. All right. Just, there might not just be people around today. All right. So now, um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 10 a.m. today, we have Pluto and Capricorn exactly square Lilith. And I'm just loving on that one. Um, because there is this expectation, Lilith is in Libra, the same as the South Node. All right, so we're letting go of codependent or ideas that are enmeshed. Good morning, Susan. Thank you. Now I feel better. <laughs> well, you know when it's what it's like when you go live and it's just not functioning properly. You're like, am I even doing anything? But good morning. All right, so yeah, so at 10 a.m., I'm, I'm loving this. All right, so there's that square to the nodes that might have us feeling a little bit challenged because it's a square, but it's also something to build upon. All right, so I'm going to read the words because I've sort of encompassed that, that authentic expression against the things that are challenging. Oh, good morning, Paulette. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we need that authentic voice to come out today to maybe challenge authority. And that could be the authority in your own mind as well. So if you could do anything that you wanted, what would you do? You can now connect in with all of your previous knowledge and experience to choose which road to take. Whichever one is right for you because you can always try something different later. And if you're really quiet, you may just hear a voice within telling you exactly what you want, not what you think others want for you. So, you know, <clears throat> so there, there's just a little bit of, there's a, this, you know what, there's this overall challenge to authority right now, especially with Pluto stationary, just about to go direct on the 16th. Was it the 16th? No, sorry, the 12th. So in two days, Pluto go, goes direct. So it's stationary right now. And you can see that. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Can't do much about it. Um, uh, you, we Look, there are a lot of reasons for the weather, but outer planet movement station, direct station retrograde always, always um, upsets the atmosphere on Earth. Now, Pluto is the planet of destruction, um, and it always makes uh, weather um, dangerous. So we can see with Pluto station, look at the, you know, look at the, uh, the cyclones in America. They are like off their head. So, I mean, you know what? It's one of the things that is causing it. Good morning, Jen. How are you? Trust me, they're telling me for weeks. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so, um, okay, good, 
Oh my, see, it's doing weird things. I'm sorry, guys. I can't help it. All right. So in the sky, we have, so we still have Mercury square Pluto. So again, there's a lot of challenges to what you're thinking. And these challenges are ultimately there for your transformation. All right. So we've got the sun square Mars could be making us a little bit irritable. All right. Um, but, but I've been talking about this sun trine Jupiter and opposition to Chiron. Uh, they happen on the same day next Monday. And it is just the awareness of the pain point. All right. So, you know, we, we, we're we feeling like we want to change. We could be struggling or suffering with a decision that needs to be made. But overall, we know what we need to do. But it's it's countering that internal narrative that has been there for so long. All right. So Venus is in conjunct Jupiter. Venus is in Scorpio. So she's down in that dark place. She's feeling those feels. Good morning, Kathy. And, and you know, it might be a little bit hard for her because Jupiter is also station now retrograde. All right. So there's another layer of a stationary planet just emphasizing the energy in the air. And so Jupiter knows better. All right. So, you know, with that first hit of Jupiter going all the way to whatever 21 degrees of Gemini and then now it's going to do its retrograde so we're pondering the things that we've already thought done communicated all right and Venus in that dark place is like oh I just don't know that I want to let go because it's a comforting factor you know all right but she is also opposing Uranus so she's very open for change or she can see that it's coming and she knows she has to adjust. And there's another in conjunct to Chiron for Venus as well. So, you know, um, like, like I, I was telling you yesterday and the day before, Chiron is everywhere right now. You know, so Chiron is square Mars, you know, so there's that challenge, the drive to move forward, that momentum that we all want is challenging those ancestral beliefs, Mars in Cancer, Good morning, Sean. How are you? So, and then, of course, Jupiter sextile Chiron. We know better. We know better, but we must challenge ourselves to get through, past, and over our subconscious conditioning. And, you know, like, w w there, there's discomfort in this challenge and change. But with every discomfort, there is growth, all right? So you just, you know, I'm always going to use those squats analogies. <laughs> you know, there is discomfort, but you know those glutes are going to look awesome. Um, and even actually this morning, uh, yesterday, all right, I woke up and I had a splinter, okay? It was so deep, I couldn't see where it went in. It was obviously a very, very fine type of splinter. Good morning, Louise. Now, this is like the opposition to Chiron, all right? I knew it was there. All right, so I put bicarb soda on it last night to try and draw it out because there was no entry point. Couldn't get it out. So I had that trying to Jupiter awareness that there was something I could do to draw it out. So, you know, so the same, same, all right. Now I can see where it's gone in. It is slightly out, but I can't grip it. Mick, Mick tried and all it did was irritate the splinter causing pain all right so here's that the sun is shining its light on chiron you are aware of the pain point and it is probably irritating you because it's like there is an issue to be dealt with that splinter must come out all right that jupiter you are aware of what needs to happen but it still keeps poking you good morning julie how are you so, and so the, you know, like just that analogy, I just thought that it's just perfect because up until next Monday, when we have that exact opposition to Chiron and that tr beautiful trine to Jupiter, what can you do in the meantime, bicarb and Band-Aid to try and draw it out? Um, you know, you know what that pain point is in your life. You are old and old enough <laughs> and wise enough to know better now you have the tools in your toolbox from all of your previous experience to try and figure out what needs to happen so that this issue can stop 
all right? You are on a completely new path now. Your trajectory has changed. Whether you are starting a new business, moving state, um, you know, um, refusing to have relationships that are detrimental to your mental health and well-being, um, doing something about your weight and health. Like there's all of these challenges that you know better, but it comes, it's all about understanding the, the mind narrative, Jupiter in Gemini, revisiting those conversations that you have already had with yourself and amending them. Now this Jupiter Chiron, uh, I don't know if you can see in the background here, uh, there, uh, <laughs> there, <laughs> that is the, that is the, um, good morning Marie, how are you? That is the astro for the whole of November, all right? So we have this beautiful Jupiter Chiron sextile for so long, all right? So we are able to really reflect on our internal narrative and how it relates to us being the best version of ourselves that we can. Chiron and Jupiter retrograde. You know, they went forward together sextile. They're going to go backwards together sextile. It's amazing. Now, that could that... Um, the the okay so they move apart and then they come back together the 25th of april next year so this is a very long term um transformation that we're going through all right and not that you know not that you're not going to change up until april next year but by that third hit you would have mastered or at least got on top of the issues that you are having now. I hope that makes sense because, you know, one thing with astrology is you can at least give someone the heads up that the influence that they're having now will eventually change. You know, you are going to master, you are going to understand, you are going to move through, things are going to change. And, you know, that's one thing that is inevitable is change. So, um, so yes. Yeah, it, it's, it's actually beautiful, you know, we've got so many outer planet transit, the uh, changes, it's like, um, so what have we got, we've got, so on the third, so the new moon on the first, I, I know it's 20 days away or 21 days away, but why not, all right, so the new moon on, in Scorpio on the first of November, oh, so good, so beautiful, we've got this beautiful water grand trine for a Scorpio new moon, it's fabulous, so then we've got Mercury moving into Sag, Mars moving into Leo, Venus moving into Capricorn, Pluto moving into Aquarius, and then obviously the Sun moves into Sag at the end of the month. Uh, Saturn goes direct on the same day as the full moon, and we have Mercury retrograde at the end of November. <laughs> so, you know, a lot, a lot of things are changing next month. So what you're dealing with right now is going to be completely different within the month. So I hope that offers you some solace or clarity or excitement that what you're dealing with now is going to completely shift. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to it, Mikkel. Oh my God, I'm like, yay, Scorpio season. This queen is excited. All right, let's do a card because I think that's pretty much pretty much the whole thing. You know, all, you know, all the Venus challenges. You know, like I spoke about the sun and what it's doing and it's, you know, um, stuff and Mercury, you know, that square to transformation. But Venus, she's the one right now that is really uncomfortable because she's in Scorpio. So she is in conjunct that Jupiter Chiron sextile. So they're on either side of her. She's in Scorpio. We've got Jupiter in Gemini and Chiron in Aries. Sorry, um, in conjunct is 150. So they're there that way so that's actually forming a yod so that's a finger of god aspect all right so that's that two in conjuncts and a sextile and so the universe is like this stuff here so that that venus and her opposition to uranus that change that is inevitable but because she's down in those depths she is feeling the 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 challenge of scorpio you know the challenge to transform so so whatever you're feeling right now, transformation and change is coming. All right, let's see what these uh, amazing dream weavers say about this.
the sun. When you feel the magic sing. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Look at that. A whale. Oh, beautiful. All right. When you feel, and that's card number six for those that want the number. All right. The aha moment. Oh, Sally, this is the one that you told me about yesterday. That, thank you. <laughs> All right. The aha moment. On the right track, hope is real. You are being cared for. Your partnership with spirit is true. And you are not alone. You are being used for a higher purpose. Ah, the moment where the light bulb in your mind goes on, your heart goes ding and time stands still. Suddenly a bright light reveals something that was hidden, that you've been looking for but didn't know it. When you feel the magic sing, you know your connection to source, the love of the universe. In that one timeless moment, you realize that time can stretch beyond what you ever thought possible. You are giving an expanded, you are given an expanded view and a second chance. More of you is available for whatever it is that you need to experience. This is access to more than before, and likely you're not going to know how any of this happened. <clears throat> now is the time to remember a moment like this in your life and be ready for it to happen again. Perhaps this reflects your current experience. Regardless, you are about to enter a time of harmony where you'll be certain of all of your alignment with the highest good for all. It's a beautiful feeling to know that your note in the symphony of life is pure and in tune. Use this moment wisely and be conscious of distractions. So when you feel the magic sing and your intuition pings you, this is a time to receive, expand and rejoice. Aww, that is just so beautiful. So if there is anybody else out there like myself, I was telling you yesterday that I'm feeling very impatient yet aware, you know, and, and it's like just having that patience to know that the universe is doing its thing, you know, it's doing its thing. Sometimes our ducks take a little bit of time to line up. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, today is going to be a brilliant day. Like I said, the moon is in Capricorn. You know, you might feel like you're achieving more after that 4 p.m. time when that sextile to Saturn starts, but that doesn't mean that you can't continue to move ahead with your plans now because if you could do anything that you wanted, what would you do? So I hope you have an amazing day. I am around today. I've got a day off because it's a public holiday here in the Northeast because of Launceston Cup Day. So if anybody wants, you know, I've got my half hour, $99 readings or my 10 minute, $40 specials, you know. So if you need something, give me a yell and um, I'm around today. So. Mwah.